Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. I'm back here with the dedicated emulation PC and I want to show you guys some launch box. Before we get started, I just want to let you know that I just ordered power supply, new case, Bluetooth dongle. I have my 270X video card that's going to go in here and another 60 gigabyte SSD to run the OS on. We're working with an Intel i3-4170 CPU. We have the stock Intel GPU built in right now until I can get a case to fit that card in. It's an HD 4400, clocked at 1300 megahertz. We have eight gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, just one stick, so if I ever wanna to upgrade to 16, it shouldn't be a problem. 500 gigabyte Western Digital Blue hard drive. I'm running on ethernet now, and I have a wired Xbox One controller connected. So I'm gonna open up LaunchBox here, and I have a few emulators installed. Most of these emulators are really hard to run on other hardware. Now we're working with a much more powerful CPU and GPU than the Raspberry Pi has, or pretty much any other Android box has. We have Nintendo 64, GameCube, Dreamcast, PlayStation, and PSP. Now I have tons of other emulators, but I just wanted to set this up real quick to show you guys. So I have a license to LaunchBox Premium, and it did cost some money, but I gotta tell you guys, it's worth every penny of it. I don't like paying for emulators, but this front end is so easy to use and so intuitive that it's worth paying for it. Really, there's a few features that don't work if you don't have premium. You can download the regular version. It's the non-premium version. It'll look just like this for you. Looks really good. I mean, there's a couple little features that you won't be able to access, but the main draw for me for buying the premium version was big box mode. Let's open it up now. So as you can see, we have an emulator front end, kind of like Hyperspin, but a thousand times easier to configure. Everything just works, and it's so simple. There are themes you can download, and I just want to show you one other theme I have. I don't think I have it set up completely right now, but it still looks really good. So when I configure everything, the big black box in the background will play a video for us. Right now, I just haven't really messed with it. I just downloaded it about two minutes ago and installed it. But if we go in, let's say Dreamcast, open up the game directory, you can flip the box around, and it downloads all the artwork for you automatically when you import your ROMs. So I'm going to go back to the stock theme, and here's the stock theme. So I'm going to launch PSP really quick. We're going to go with God of War Chains of Olympus. Now, you may know how hard this is to run on Android devices and Raspberry Pi, so we're going to try it out on this HD 4400 GPU. I can launch the game. It automatically launches PPSSPP. I have it all configured. If I press select and start at the same time, it will close the emulator and bring me right back to Big Box. And I'll show you that when we're done playing the game. I'm going to start a new game here. Fast forward this for you, or I'll skip this part. We'll get into some gameplay and see how well it performs on this CPU. So I am at 1x resolution with the PSP emulator because this game is hard to emulate even on this hardware. Now when I throw that uh, F, now when I throw that AMD, now when I throw that 270X in this uh, computer here, we should be able to take the resolution way up with this game. So if you're upset you're not able to run this on your Android phone, don't be because this thing is way more powerful than any Android CPU out right now and it still has a hard time emulating this game. Sixty FPS, now we are at a very low resolution. Still very playable. And it runs amazing here. So I wanted to show you guys, I can exit directly out of the PPSSPP emulator by holding select, pressing start. It closes the emulator in the background and brings me right back. Really cool feature there. Let's back out of here and try a different emulator. We'll go with Nintendo GameCube. I have a few games here already installed, and I was really waiting to build this computer completely until I set this all up. If you guys want to see some tutorials on how to use LaunchBox and BigBox, let me know in the comments below and I can make some of these videos for you. 
We'll do Soul Calibur 2. FPS is listed up in the top left hand corner. It runs relatively well on this HD 4400 GPU. It runs a lot better than any Android device right now, anyway. And uh, these CPUs are pretty cheap. I was able to pick up this computer fully built for $100. I don't have V-Sync on, so you see a little bit of tearing there. 60 FPS, this is at, uh, I think, double the original GameCube resolution. Runs perfectly. Everything I've tested within the GameCube at this res works. If I go any higher, it does drop down to about 50 FPS. But like I said, when we install that big video card, that'll change. We'll be able to run this at really high resolution with no stuttering. The Dolphin emulator is one of the best emulators on the market for compatibility. So I hold select and press start. Brings me right back into the big box emulator front end. And we'll just go with, let's do Nintendo 64. And I have these set on widescreen. You can change this if you'd like. You need to go into the emulator to change this. Or you can use boot flags. Now I'm not really keen on this widescreen stretching everything out. But for now, it works fine for me. And I forgot to list the FPS here. But you should be able to get a feel for how this does perform. And it performs amazingly. And i got to get my buttons correct here. I'm so used to playing on like the Raspberry Pi or Android. And I set these buttons up totally different. Everything's fully configurable. Now you need to install different emulators for the front end to work. The front end does not contain any emulators. So, but the cool thing is you can add an emulator within LaunchBox and there is a download button. So it'll take you to the correct page to download the newest version of whatever emulator you want. And pretty much everything is supported. And this is running at 1080p, the rendering resolution of the Nintendo 64, which is pretty much unheard of on single board computers. This thing does draw a lot more power than the Raspberry Pi does. This is a 45 watt CPU. And when we put that GPU in it, it's going to be pulling a little more juice. So um, if you're looking to save power, you can stick with the Raspberry Pi, but you'll never get this performance. I don't see it happening anytime soon, if ever, until the Raspberry Pi 5 or 4, maybe. So I'll back out of here. And that's it for now, guys. I just wanted to show you those emulators running, and this front end is so cool. I really appreciate you watching. Like I said, if you guys want to see some tutorials on LaunchBox, let me know in the comments below, and I'll start making them. Saturday, I'm going to do a video with the new GPU case and everything installed. I'll have a lot more emulators installed and we can see how they perform with that 270X. Like always, thanks for watching.